tell me you've been single a long time without telling me you've been single a long time. No one's going to stop me from having my mental breakdown. It's mine. I, I earned it. Stop it. Get some help. So, um, I'm supposed to get my kids tomorrow night or tomorrow day. And their father just called me and asked if, uh, they could go to the beach because they were supposed to go when he picked them up, whatever long story. You know, of course, the demon evil part of me wants to be like, no, they're my kids, it's my time. But the good side of me has to do what's in the best interest of the kids and they really want to go to the beach and I gotta let go. And it just hurts so bad because, you know, as much as I'm strong and I have fun on lives and TikTok, I just, I look forward to those little boogers. This feminism movement is really designed for the breakdown of families and what does that mean for a female it means that you end up being single mm. that you know the system then will support you to a certain extent but now you have to work you're having to pay the bills you're single you're stressed out mm. a man is needed in the family setup the system is not a man it's not a replacement for a man ultimately you're going to be left in a bigger situation where you're by yourself raising your kids struggling to live struggling to work for a muslim woman our disposition, you know, our fitra, is that we need to be looked after, we need to be nurtured, we need to be <clears throat> provided for, you know, mm. us, and the men are the protectors and the, the maintainers of, of the women, and we're the bent rib. So we can only handle so much as women. It really, long term, is going to do more harm than good, and it is damaging for you. Do you want to know one of the saddest realizations I recently had? was that as a liberal woman, it is really hard to find a man who is willing to play the more traditional masculine role in the relationship in today's day and age. Who is not a conservative? A man who wants to pay on the first date, who wants to open your door, who has that want and desire to take care of you and to provide. Who is not a conservative? And obviously as a liberal woman, I do want to be respected for my independence. And I do want to have my own autonomy in the relationship and not be confined or conform to the traditional female homemaker, childbearing role. And most of the men that I've dated who do have that more natural provider masculinity about them are normally conservative. So I don't really know what to do because I don't want to compromise my morals and values just to find a man. But... Am I asking to have my cake and eat it too? Oh, look, she put her kid's initials in her bio, even though she doesn't have custody. Girls night out, mama needs a break. A break from what? She posted a selfie, hashtag mom life. Bitch weird. <laughs> oh, wow, look, she actually took a picture with her kid. Must be at grandma's house. In a new relationship, third one this month. Shocker. I mean, hey, at least you don't got to worry about men being in out the kid's life because, you know, she ain't even in the kid's life. So here come the quotes. Why is it always Harley Quinn and Joker quotes? Real love is when you see the dark parts of someone and choose to still love them. Girl, go love your kid. Went to the store and saw this tiny baby onesie. OMG, baby fever. Yeah, because that's what we need. Another kid for your mama to raise. Oh, they broke up forever alone well you know you wouldn't be alone if you went and got your kid so why doesn't anyone love me oh i don't know why don't you love your kid <laughs> so it's day two of trying to make 10k in eight days it's 8 42 and i'm about to get on the floor i didn't know what i wanted to do and i didn't have time to mention it in the last video but i decided so that's my new challenge i'm leaving the country and going on vacation for a month um and i'm leaving on january 11th so 
that's why I'm doing this challenge. I'm trying to make as much money as I can before I go. I went on stage, so it's my first set. And it's all from one guy, because there's like nobody here. There's like two guys, I think. Um, but this guy's literally here like every day. And he usually never ever gets dances. He only tips on but if you give him attention, he'll tip you a few dollars. And we need that guy, I guess, you know, for nights like this. I would have made zero dollars. I mean, like, starts like this. But yesterday, he got a dance with me for the first time ever. He came to me and asked me for it, so that was interesting. So that's what I got, and he's been giving me a little more and more slowly. It used to be like three, five dollars, now it's just like, I don't know, like 10 or 15. It's 15. All right, so it's 10.20, and I did one topless, so I'm still 1.40 away from my house fee. And we close at 2 a.m. Stage from the same guy. Alright, so I finally made my house fee and it's 11.28, but I haven't really made much money yet, so uh, we close at 2 a.m., so we'll see. I went on stage, I did pretty good. Okay, so I angled it like this because um, my outfit, um, but anyway, stage was pretty good, there's like a few guys, I haven't really done any other dances besides making my house fee, and it's 11.56, so we'll see. Yay, it was so good. Stage. Stage number, whatever this is. All right, so I'm finally back home. Tonight was pretty good for me. Um, I found some good customers, and yeah, this is 100 bucks that I already counted. This is 45. Um, I got 800 on Zelle, and then this is 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 70, 85. So in total, I made 12.30, so I'm pretty happy about that. And I'm hoping to make my goal for these eight days. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is one of my all-time faves. This one looks really good on stage because it glows. I love this one because it glows. I love this one because it's bedazzled and it was so expensive. I haven't worn this one in a while, but I think it looks really good on me. I also have this in hot pink and I love it because it glows and makes my ass look really we don't care.